Hello well, boys and girls, welcome to FIFA 16 demo. Uh, currently this is uh, the recording that I made playing on my desktop. Uh, since this is a demo we can choose uh, too many teams, but uh, we still... I mean EA Games give us the options to choose a woman team and I decided to go for it because it's beautiful for our eyes to see girls playing. And I like to see the new faces and everything, and especially the air system, which is uh, great. I mean, here the air, not your SFX or air, or uh, air, air works. Yes, it is air works, but it's not what it is implemented. It's a simple animation, but it quite looks good. So I'm gonna leave with the gameplay. Currently, completely maxed out, including today, four times what is going to be amazing. And see you soon, I hope. For you. Hope you enjoy it. For you, and we're looking forward to that very much indeed. Today's match, it's Germany, and they face the United States. Well, undoubtedly, the German side, they were expected to do a little bit better than they did in a wonderful tournament that they staged in 2011 when Japan actually were world champions. Yeah, maybe the uh, public would have expected the host nation to have won that, but it was a good competition. And now it's time for the national anthems. how the German team line up today well more often than not we're looking at teams that shape up this way Alan yeah such a popular system 4-2-3-1 it gives you a lot of stability and if your front four as you might describe them are good players it's a really potent system and this is how the USA line up so Alan 4-4-2 yeah I think it looks that way Martin yes it's the conventional shape it's the one that the manager prefers whether at the end of this game Megan Rapinoe will be singing like she famously did after playing in the World Cup of 2011 same born in the USA yeah maybe so Martin I've heard she can belt out a tune but uh, she's no slouch on the football pitch either remembered perhaps particularly for that diving header against Brazil which was an equalizer in the World Cup quarter-final Abby Wambach yeah she'd have been just disappointed that they couldn't go on and win the final Ended up losing it to Japan, but she did more than her bit. Shashic! And we've got a goal. That's the first one, and I think there'll be a few more to come. That's a great start. They've got the range straight away. Great goal coming from their first shot of the game. You can see a slightly different viewpoint on it so the first goal it's 1-0 Megan Rapino. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. Smack it! Terrific stop. Holiday. Sauerbrunn in midfield. They've got it back via an interception. They've gone up to take the throw, well up the field, to keep the pressure on. Pabea Kema. That's 
really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Pop. Then it for Marisan. It's a good idea with the pass. And that will clear the danger. It's a real tussle between the two of them. Try and get the ball. Tobin Heath. Krieger. Well, that's gone back to the goalkeeper. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. Melanie Leupoltz. trying but in the end that one came nowhere near no that might just affect her for the rest of this match because that was a bad miss Jennifer Marisan, Alexandra Pop, and it's Mitak. Excellent passing, great interplay. Ali Krieger. It's with Lloyd here. It's with Heath. Throw in here. And your mitak. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Carly Lloyd. Lauren Holiday. Now Sauerbrunn. Oh, whistle's gone. Free kick. It's yellow from the ref. Oh, without question. That was an easy decision for the ref. Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle. It was badly timed. one back that's an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one Tobin Heath Abby one back here's Leupoltz Out in front of goal, space to try and hit it now. Here's one back. Here's the cross. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. But despite the fact that one team is leading, quite a disappointing first half for you. Never taken off, really, has it? And the crowd haven't had reason to get up off the seats, and uh, we're hoping for better. Got another 45 minutes to go and uh, set your watches off we go
Barca. Mitak. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Great play from the attacker. Will be their throw. Melanie Leupoltz. Jennifer Marisat. Well, this is an opportunity. When you concede a free kick in an area like this, you could be in serious trouble. Together, able to get that extra height by jumping to block the free kick. Zenith and Marisan. Now the shot! Oh, great work by the keeper. It's a diagonal ball to switch the play here. Holiday. Well, they've lost the ball. Mitak. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. Heath. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Lloyd. Definitely a throw in there. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. one back and that's good support as they build this attack great tackle Melanie Leupoltz for Sashic Mickey Sauerbrunn it's with Lloyd here Lauren Holiday. Tremendous understanding from these players. Oh, it could be on. The score! The crowd were roaring for the goal that they were craving, really. The leveller. Well, you wonder how many more chances they will be able to carve out here. That might be their one and only. Who knows? Well, we thought we might get this from the manager, Alan, didn't we? They are trailing. It's not always a simple solution, but it is an obvious thing to bring on an extra striker, and that's what has happened here. Yeah, I think the final rolling of the dice. Manager had no choice, really. a chance to whip it in it's a terrific effort by the home side here they've just kept their noses in front they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle and shoots comes out of the goalkeeper 
Oh, in goes the cross. Look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Keep an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Pop! Terrific stop! They've got the lead. They've got the corner. The ball's in the right end of the pitch for them. They could do several things here. They don't have to whip it in. of this game couldn't it but it's a miss at an important stage yeah i wouldn't describe it as the easiest of chances but look at her she's uh, got it she's missed it just one minute of added time to come I guess because uh, that's what you do whenever you play but as a friendly game more than just a result I think so I take a lot of heart from that because uh, not only did they win but they played well along the way Hello guys, welcome back now to the results of the FIFA 16 on my desktop and as you can see while on gameplay and playing with the top camera we can get the frame rate between the 100 frames and 120 frames so this is a very high frame rate and I don't get any bottleneck contrary to what happens on FIFA 15 uh, but looking at replays or uh, lower cameras uh, well, the fact is different when and we get frame rate lower than 60. That's what happened. But besides that, the game it's just fluid. And if you use VSync, that uh, it's a thing that you gonna want to use it because uh, basically the camera goes side scrolling all over the place and that um, make Turing to happen. And so you want to use VSync. What happens is uh, if you get those 100 something frames. The frame rate will walk you out to 60, but uh, on the scenes where you don't get 60 frames, like for example replays, you're gonna get a 30 FPS as a walk. So this is basically the PS4 experience, but with four times multi sampling in TV instead of the two times that PlayStation 4 uses. At least I think it uses this way because FIFA 15 uses uses uh, two times multi sampling. If I'm not wrong. So as, I, as you can see, uh, the rest of the things, the game just uses 1 GB of VRAM, it uses 4 GB of RAM. Uh, the CPU is very necessary for this game, this game likes a lot of CPU, but like you saw, I was getting 107 frames, so which means if you walk the game to 60, uh, the CPU will be more than less, I don't know, uh, 70%. So our Fanon 2 can truly handle it at 60 FPS with no problem. On the gameplay. Uh, about GPU, like I said before, no bottleneck, which means the graphic card is all the times between the 99% and 100%. So this is basically good news for us, and uh, the game is much better optimized now. So from the tech part, it's all, and it is what I wanted to do. So thank you a lot for watching, guys and girls, and see you soon. I hope.